Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we are doing illustrative math, grade 8, unit 1, lesson 14. Okay, our first problem here says use the diagram to find the measurement of each angle. What do we know? We know that angle CBD, CBD, is 45 degrees. So if this is 45 degrees, using alternate interior angles that we've spoken about today, angle ABE also has to be 45 degrees. Now we also know ABC is related to ABE because this entire angle makes a straight line. It's a straight angle, which means these two angles together, ABE and ABC, have to combine to equal 180 degrees. So if this is 45, we just have to do 180, subtract 45, and what's 180 subtract 45? is 135. So ABC has to be 135 degrees. And because that is an alternate, or not an alternate, a vertical angle with EBD, that EBD also has to be 135. So ABC, ABC is 135 degrees, EBD is also 135 degrees, and ABE is 45 degrees. So by knowing one angle, we can find all four when we have two lines crossing. Okay, lines K and L are parallel and the measurement of ABC is 19 degrees. Let's label that on here. ABC is 19 degrees. If this is 19 degrees, let's quickly look at what we know. We know this is also 19 degrees. Explain why the measurement of ECF, ECF is also 19 degrees. If you get stuck, consider translating line L, line L, by moving point B to point C. So let's kind of think about what that would look like. This is line L. And I drew a little bit of line M right there. If I were to translate that from B to C, oh, that angle matches. Because line L and line K are parallel, wherever this angle is, this angle up here has to match. So if that is 19 degrees, that is also 19 degrees. What's the measurement of BCD? BCD, BCD. That's this angle here. And if we know that this is 19, this is a vertical angle to that, so that is also 19. Okay, our first problems there were lots of 19 degrees over and over again. The diagram shows three lines with some marked angle measurements. Find the missing angle measures marked with question marks. So the first ones to think about are where are vertical angles? If this is 70, that's also 70. If this is 53, that is also 53 because they're vertical angles. Now, 
looking at this one, this makes up a straight line, which means this 70 plus whatever this is has to equal 180 degrees. So this has to be 110 degrees. That is a vertical angle with this, so that is also 110 degrees. If this is 53, these two angles have to combine to be 180. So if this is 53, this has to be 27, or 127 rather, 127 degrees. And if this is 127, this is also 127. So we got all four angles there, all four angles there. Lines S and T are parallel. Find the value of X. So S and T are parallel to each other. We have to find the measurement of X. So this one requires quite a few steps. We have to think about what we know. Well, because S and T are parallel, whatever this angle is has to be congruent to this angle, so that's 40 degrees. This is 90, which means this whole thing has to be 90 plus 40, which is 130 degrees. Well, this 130 degrees, because S and T are parallel, that means this right here also has to be 130 degrees. If that is also 130, we know that this measurement here has to add up to 180. Well, 130 plus what would give us 180 degrees? That's 150 degrees. Nope, not 150 degrees. 50 degrees. 130 plus 50 is 180. So X is a 50 degree angle. The two figures are scaled copies of each other. What is the scale factor that takes figure one to figure two, which means we need a little bit of a point of reference here. How many times bigger is it to go from this to this? Well, this distance, I'm going to give that a different color. That distance is two units. And the corresponding one over here is one, two, three, four, five, six units. How about how tall it is? This one is three units tall, and this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units tall. So what would we have to scale this by to get this? Well, from two units to six units, that's three times bigger. From three units to nine units, that's also three times bigger. Two times three is six, three times three is nine. The scale factor from figure one to figure two is three. What's the scale factor from figure two to figure one to go from this to this? Would you say that's three times smaller? A lot of people want to say that, but that is not how this works. Three times bigger, but three times smaller is not how we think about scale factor. Scale factor is what do we multiply this by to get this. What do we multiply 6 by to get 2? 
What do we multiply 9 by to get 3? The scale factor for that is 1 third. 6 times 1 third is 2. 9 times 1 third is 3. Okay, that's the end of this lesson. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.